In this edition of Cisco Tech Talks, we'll explain how to configure SIP proxy and registration parameters in Cisco SPA series IP phones. Next. To configure the proxy and registration parameters on the SPA series IP phone, we'll first navigate to the admin login option and select the advanced option. After that, we will go to the voice tab and select the extension where we can configure the parameters. If we scroll down to the proxy and registration section, we can start filling out the applicable information. We'll first provide the proxy server IP address or domain name. We can also apply any specific port number at the end of the IP address, but this is optional. Afterwards, we'll enter the outbound proxy as the server IP details or a fully qualified domain name. Next, we'll need to scroll down to subscriber information and fill out the display name and user ID. This user ID is the extension number for the line. We'll need to enter the respective password to authenticate that extension. By default, use auth ID will be marked no. We'll need to change that to yes. Then we'll enter the auth ID. In this case, it is the same as the user ID. Once we're finished writing the remaining parameters or keeping them at their default settings, we'll click Submit All Changes. We will then receive a notification that the SPA is updating our configuration. Once we're back into the configuration page, we'll see that the extension we have configured has registered. We can check by visiting the Info tab and scrolling down to the Extension 1 status, which we have configured in this case. And with that, we've configured the SIP proxy register and parameter to register any Cisco SPA series IP device. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.